Hello guys, recently on Twitter I saw Benjamin posting his Laravel blog as open source and I decided to dive into the code and review it but not in terms of quality of is it good or bad but basically noticing some interesting parts to shoot a video or to tweet about like tips about Laravel or certain features that Benjamin has implemented on his blog. His blog is free on GitHub, I will link that in the description below as well as the original tweet and in a few videos I will choose the topics to demonstrate to you something interesting from that source. And this is one of the best ways to actually learn Laravel or whatever is dive deeper into already prepared code base, especially if that code base is for a real project that is already live and running like his blog. And topic of today is how he used a recently launched Laravel Vault for Livewire. First, I will demonstrate to you the page, how it works. So I've installed that blog locally. For that, Benjamin has instructions in the readme of the repository. And one of the pages is migrating PHP unit tests to PEST with a new Drift plugin of PEST 2.9. By the way, I have a video about PEST 2.9 latest release and I'll link that as well in the description below. But basically, if you have a PHP unit test here, Benjamin would help you to migrate it to PEST syntax. So I've tried to find any random PHP unit test and in one of my older courses about Booking.com API, there's a test to show apartment. So I've just copy the source, paste here with PHP in the beginning, paste, and then migrate to PEST. And then I get the result with some syntax migrated to PEST syntax like users here, test here, and maybe some other stuff changed. But that's not the point. This video is not about PEST or PHP unit. It's about how that page works. As you can see, there is no page refresh. I can also click migrate another test, which would clear up the text area here. So how that works with Vault. Vault is a pretty new addition to Laravel family. Here's the official blog post about it. It was introduced at Laracon US. And I have mistakenly been calling that Laravel Vault. It's not actually Laravel Vault. It's Vault for Livewire. And the documentation for that is not on Laravel.com. It's on Livewire Laravel.com. Vault. Vault allows you to create Livewire components without actually creating the full component. Let me demonstrate. So what Benjamin has on his blog is this. We're talking about this page. So there's route view, which is URL, and then view file, the blade file. If we go to that blade file, this is a typical blade file, nothing really fancy with blade components for layout. And we are interested in this part. So in the middle of that page, there's a live wire component with a weird name PoWest, which somehow stands for PHP unit to best. And the main part, what Vault does, that live wire PoWest, it's not a live wire component in full. So if we go on the left hand side, there's no app HTTP live wire folder as it was in live wire 2. In live wire 3, it has been changed to app live wire, but also no folder of app live wire which means that the full Livewire component is just in Livewire blade part. So let's take a look at that one. So here's that file, resources views Livewire Paul West blade. So there's non Livewire blade and inside of that you have Livewire component. And by the way, I'm a big fan of using Livewire in this way. So the project, the full project is Laravel with typical blades and then inside of blades, whenever you need the dynamic behavior, then you inject the live wire. It's not a full page component. So yeah, with vault, you have a state of variables and you import state from vault. So basically you have two variables here, code and result. Then you have a function which you would otherwise declare in the live wire component. Your function does something. In this case, it uses best drift class. So this one converts the code and assigns that to this result. So again, we're working with result and the code, this code and this result. And then another function called again, or I would call it clean up or something just clears up the variables. And those variables then look like a typical live wire component. So there's wire click again, migrate another test if we have the result. Else we have wire submit with migrate. 
With LiveWire 3, by the way, there's no need to have submit prevent because it's the default. And I have a separate video on new features of LiveWire 3. And I will link that as well in the description below. And then we have wire model code and button for submit. So nothing really fancy here, but what I wanted to show you is LiveWire Vault in action, where all your logic is just in Blade. It could be a debatable thing, and part of me inside my kind of internal voice tells me that it is kind of bad to have everything in one file, especially if it has much more logic than this one, because it's kind of against of separation of concerns and classical MVC and architecture. But for examples like this one with simple page, with just a few variables and a few methods, I think it's pretty cool. It reminds a view component with logic and then template just in Livewire without writing any JavaScript. What do you think about this one? Have you used Vault in action already? What is your impression about it? Let's discuss in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.